afternoon, everybody. I see some familiar faces here. Uh, we hope for a bigger turnout, but I guess the rain and the preakness gave people other ideas. We didn't uh, think about the preakness when we picked the day. Uh, I'm Ross Kimmel. I'm a volunteer and on the board of trustees of Todd's Inheritance. Uh, was the historian for the Maryland State Park System. This is part of North Point State Park. And I'm glad to say I was involved in the state's acquisition of this property and also the immediate turning it over to Todd's Inheritance Historic Site Incorporated, which is a private nonprofit that operates it. Um, we've uh, been getting a lot of grants. The Maryland uh, Committee for Humanities gave us a generous grant. There was something called Shine. Is that, was that their grant? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So we're uh, doing well enough that this year we haven't charged admission, and maybe we can continue with that. Uh, this afternoon, our uh, entertainment are the Shantyman, a group of folks who sing War of 1812 period sea shanties. And I think you'll enjoy their performance. This, oh, sorry, I forgot your name. Jonathan? Jonathan? Darcy. Darcy. Michael? Stephen. And after this is over, Stephen's going to put on a little demonstration of the Battle of Baltimore. So let me. An extravaganza, actually. An extravaganza. <laughs> well, I've never seen it, but that's what I'm told. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to skinny my way out of here. <laughs> sure. No, I got a seat right here. So, we, we, we are indeed the Chips Company Shantyman, and uh, we've uh, existed for 28 years. Um, and, uh, as a group. As a group. Not all of us have been in the group for 28 years. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm going to start out with a, a song that was a hit tune in 1759. Back in 1759, of course, we were all Britons. And then there was that little thing called the American Revolution, or the American War of Independence, and the second American War of Independence, the War of 1812. So, um, this song, uh, we talk about sea shanties. Uh, we use that term sort of very broadly sometimes for maritime music, period maritime music. But there's different types of songs. Some are the work songs, sea shanties, and another type is a broadside ballad. And that's what this song was, a broadside <coughs> And it was uh, written to uh, commemorate uh, three great things uh, of the year 1759, during the what we call the French Indian War. Uh, and uh, the uh, first great thing was the Battle of Bay. You remember that? Big, big battle. Nice and we beat the French. Oh. Yeah, we beat the French. And there was also the taking of the city of Quebec, which turned French Canada into British Canada. And of course, my favorite, it is the founding of the U.S. <laughs> Come cheer up, me lasses, to glory we steer, to add something more to this wonderful year, to who honor we call you not pressed, you like slaves, for who are so free as the sons of the waves, are the boat on our ships, are the boat on our men, we always are ready, stay boys, steady. Fight and we'll conquer again and again. We never see our foes, but we wish them to stay. They never <coughs> see us, but they wish us away. If they run, I will follow and run them ashore. And if they won't fight us, we cannot do more. Hard of oak are our ships, hard of oak are our men. We always are ready. Steady, boys, steady. We'll fight and we'll conquer again and again. They swear they'll invade us, those terrible foes. They frighten our women, our children, our bows. But if their black bottoms in darkness take o'er, still Britons they'll find to receive them on shore. Hard of oak on our ships, hard of oak on our men, we always are ready. Stay, boys, stay. We'll fight and we'll conquer again and again. Still Britons are 
triumph her ships plow the seas. Her standard be justice, her watch will be free. So cheer up, me lad, with one voice let us sing. Our soldiers, our sailors, our statesmen, our king. Heart of oak on our ships, heart of oak on our men, we always are ready. Steady, boy, steady. We'll fight and we'll conquer again and again. Well, there are several kinds of songs that were known to sailors of all times, and oh, some of them were uh, broadside ballads like that one, and others were just ditties they picked up ashore. Uh, but I have one here just to sort of lighten the mood to remind you if you're going on a sea voyage, <laughs> always make preparations. You have to provision the ship first. Make sure you take enough with you. And you can do a little participation there. There were three men from Bristol City. There were three men from Bristol City. They stole a ship and sailed to sea. They stole a ship and sailed to sea. They stole a tin of Captain's Biscuit. They stole a tin of Captain's Biscuit. And one large bottle of whiskey. And one large bottle of whiskey. There was Gorge and Jack and Guzzlin Jimmy. There was Gorge and Jack and Guzzlin Jimmy. And there was little boy Billy. And there was little boy Manny. But when they reached the broad Atlantic, but when they reached the broad Atlantic, there was nothing left but one split pea. There was nothing left but one split pea. Said Gorge and Jack, Dick. Said, said Gorge and Jack, Dick as a That's a good way. Said, said Gorge and Jack, Dick as a Jimmy. Said Gorge and Jack, Dick as a Jimmy. We've nothing to eat, I shall eat thee. We've nothing to eat, I shall eat thee. Says Guzzlin Jimmy, I'm old and toughish. Says Guzzlin Jimmy, I'm old and toughish. So let's eat little boy Billy. So let's eat little boy Billy. Little boy Billy, we're gonna kill and eat ya. Oh, little boy Billy, we're gonna kill and eat ya. Undo the top button of your little shimmy. Undo the top button of your little shimmy. May I say my catechisms? May I say my catechism? That my dear mother taught to me. That my dear mother taught to me. He climbed up to the main top gallant. He climbed up to the main top gallant. And there he fell on bended knee. And there he fell on bended knee. When he reached the eleventh commandment. And when he reached the eleventh commandment, he cried, Yo ho, it's land I see. He cried, Yo ho, it's land I see. I see Jerusalem and Madagascar. I see Jerusalem and Madagascar. And North and South America. And North and South America. I see the British fleet at anchor. I see the British fleet at anchor. And Admiral Nelson KCB, and Admiral Nelson KCB. They hanged Gorging Jack and Guzzling Jimmy. They hanged Gorging Jack and Guzzling Jimmy. But they made an admiral of little boy Billy. They made an admiral of little boy Billy. <laughs>
and it's about, it, it's one of those songs where it's like, oh, we're going to go to sea, we're going to go to sea, that's, it's, uh, so it's very cheerful. <laughs> I think, I think uh, later on, when you've been at, at sea with the same crew and the oh, same captain for like six months, then the, then the songs get a little more uh, negative, but uh, it's like, oh, we're going off, we're going off to sea again. I think it's really true that sailors would say, I'm never going back to sea, and then they can't help themselves. They just can't help. It's adventure. It's going, it's sea, sea fever, yes. And money is good, too. <laughs> I'll sing you a song, a good song of the sea. Away, right I'll sing you a song if you'll sing it with me. And, and we're bound for the Rio Grande. And it's away, right oh. Away, right oh. It's very well, my pretty young girls. And we're bound for the Rio Grande. Sea chest and get underway. Away, right oh. Them girls that we're leaving can have your half pay. And, and we're bound for the Royal Grand. And it's away, right oh. Away, right oh. It's very well, my pretty young girls. And we're bound for the Royal Grand. Well, we're a deep water ship and a deep water crew. Away. Songs their feats to praise while others they're degrading. Yankee Doodle, fire away, cannon loud as thunder. For brave Decatur Jones and Hull make Johnny Bullock under. Rest our men, they claim the right, but blast their imposition. We'll show the rascals that will fight in preference to submission. Yankee Doodle, fire away, cannon loud as thunder. Brave Decatur Jones and Hull make Johnny Bullock under. Uh, they'll find they've not Monsieur to meet, but Yankee boys of metal will their measures all defeat unless they shortly settle. Yankee doodle, fire away, cannon out as thunder. Brave Decatur, Jones and Hull make Johnny Bulldog under. Yankee doodle, fire away, cannon out as thunder. For Brave Decatur, Jones and Hull make Johnny Bulldog under. Thank you. 
the language there that to knock under was like going to see David Jones. So the ship would go knock on the bottom. So, oh, he changed the ships. How about that? So, so there is a Jones in there. It's Decatur, Jones, and Hull. So here's a quiz that Ross cannot answer. <laughs> um, that Jones, what's the first name of Jones? And it's not Davy Jones. Okay. No, John, so John, John Paul. John Paul? John no. Paul. no. <laughs> you pull into a trap. <laughs> you sucked right in. No, no, it's Jacob Jones. Jacob, Jacob Jones. Jones. A, uh, a captain uh, who was very interesting in that he uh, was 30 years old and a medical doctor and then became a midshipman at age 30 and worked his way and did a full career. So, anyway, enough of that history. We'll do a song about history instead. Okay. So, um, I mentioned the French Indian War, American War of Independence. There was also the Barbary Wars and um, the uh, <coughs> uh, all those pirates in North Africa. Okay, so this song is about that. There were two lofty ships that from old England came. Blow high, blow low, and so sailed we. <coughs> One was the Prince of and the other Prince of Wales. Sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. Oh, aloft there, aloft, a jolly boatswain cried, Blow high, blow low, and so sail we. Look ahead, look astern, a weather and a lee. Sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. Well, there's not upon the stern, and there's not upon the lee. Go high, go low, and so sail we. But there's a lofty ship to windward, and she's sailing fast and free. Sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. Oh, hailer, oh, hailer, our gallant captain cried. Go high, go low, and so sail we. Are you a man of war or a privateer, says he? Sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. Well, I'm not a man of war, nor a privateer, says he. Go high, go low, and so sails we. But I'm a salty pirate, a looking for my fee. Sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. Then broadside to broadside, for hours on hours we lay. Go high, go low, and so sail we. Until the Prince of Luther shot the pirate's mast away. Sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. Oh, quarter, oh, quarter, those pirates then did cry. Blow high, blow low, and so sailed we. The quarter that we gave them, we sank them in the sea. Sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. Well, then it was a cruel sight that grieved us full sore. Blow high, blow low. And so sailed we to see them pirates drown them as they tried to swim ashore, sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. tavern, that would be one guy's ale, because they brewed it in the back. Went to another tavern, would be that guy's ale, because they brewed it in the back. So this song is about Jones's ale. jovial crew, and they ordered their pints of beer and bottles of sherry to help them over the hill so merry, to help them over the hill so merry. And Jones's tale was new, me boys, 
When Jones' tale was new, it's always better when it's him. The first to come in was a tinker. Uh, he was no small beer drinker. He was no small beer drinker to make up the joke in the crew. Instead of you, any pots, pans, or kettles, my tools are made of the very best metals, and I will put them all in fine pedal. When Jones' ale was new, me boys, when Jones' ale was new, and they ordered their pints of beer and bottles of sherry to help them over the hills so merry, to help them over the hills so merry. When Jones' ale was new, me boys, when Jones' ale was new, the next to come in was a hatter, and there could be no man hatter. Yes, there could be no man better to make up the jovial crew. He threw his hat upon the floor. He said each man should put in a pound, and there would be drinks to all go round. When Jones' tail was new, my boys, when Jones' tail was new. And they ordered their pints of beer and bottles of sherry to help them over the hills so merry, to help them over the hills so merry. When Jones' tail was new, me boys, when Jones' tail was new. Next to come in was a mason, his hammer it needed be base. His hammer it needed be basin to make up the jovial crew. He threw his hammer against the wall. He said all churches and chapels must fall, and there would be work for masons all. When Jones' ale was new, me boys, when Jones' ale was new. Job security, and they ordered their pints and beer and bottle of sherry to help them over the hills so merry, to help them over the hills so merry. When Jones' ale was new, me boys, when Jones' ale was new. And next to come in was a soldier, he took off his firelock over his shoulder, his firelock <coughs> over his shoulder, to make up the jovial crew. The landlord's doctor, she came in, he kissed her between the nose and the chin, and the pints of beer came rolling in. When Jones' ale was new, me boys, when Jones' ale was new. And they ordered their pints of beer and bottles of sherry to help them over the hills so merry, to help them over the hills so merry. When Jones' ale was new, me boys, when Jones' ale was new. Squirts and it squirts and it bleeds. 
well hurts. Pain only a pirate can stand. Well, a nice metal hook is a fashionable look, but then you can't play in the game. <laughs> <laughs> you go right through this. Oh, it's so hard to be a pirate. You can't be a pirate with all your parts. Oh, it's so hard to be a pirate. You can't be a pirate with all your parts. It just occurred to me that's why so many pirate groups sing a cappella, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
down, money's all gone, it's the same old song. Hey, I'll I'll check, check on, sit down. Come along, come along, be jolly brave boys. There's lots of grog in the jar. We'll plow the briny ocean with the jolly roving tar. Come along, come along, be jolly brave boys. There's lots of grog in the jar. We'll plow the briny ocean with the jolly roving tar. institution has closed recently, um, I think you know about it, from the uh, Anchor in Anchor, Anchor Tavern, um, just a block or so away, Bertha's has closed, okay. so, but the song lives on. Eat Bertha's muscles, it's the best there is by far. You can eat them in the dining room, you can eat them in the bar. So when you're ashore in Baltimore, and your fancy's a bite to eat, just follow your nose to Bertha's, you'll be in for a rare old treat. Well, a sailor came in to Bertha's with a problem most severe. His Emily Bride had an astral ride after a voyage of 14 years. Well, he ate a plate of Bertha's muscles. Now he sings in a different key. His chicken <laughs> says, Ryan, right, he'll be there tonight and he'll never go back to sea. So we eat Bertha's muscles and the best there is by far. You can eat them in the dining room. You can eat them in the bar. So when you're ashore in Baltimore and your fancy's a fight to eat, just follow your nose to Bertha's. You'll be in for a rare old treat. A lady came in to Bertha's looking forward to have a daughter or a son. But the doctor had said with a shake of his head that she couldn't have either one. Well, she did and went home to her husband, dear. She do the best truth, and I tell you the truth. She had triplets of very severe. So, we eat the the best there is by far. You can eat them in the dining room. You can eat them in the bar. So, when you're ashore in Baltimore, and your fancy's a bite to eat, just follow your nose to Bertha's. You'll be in for a rare old treat. Tell cure your constipation <laughs> and your diarrhea too. Just swallow a box for the chicken pox, for the measles or the flu. So if the apartheid's a healthy life, take your daily doses straight. A plate a day of Bertha's muscles. And you'll live to your 98. You like so, <laughs> muscles, they're the best there is by far. You can eat them in the dining room, you can eat them in the bar. So, when you're ashore in Baltimore, and your boxes are bite to eat, just follow your nose to Bertha's. You'll be in for a rare old tree. shanties became more, more desirable and more necessary is because builders and owners made their ships bigger, bigger and bigger. But they didn't hire more men to run it, right? So now it was really big, and before you could hoist a mainsail just hauling in line with two guys. Okay, now you needed six or eight of them just to haul that sail. And then later, they oh, we got you a winch. What? A winch? No, we got you a, <laughs> we got you a steam winch. 
Well, well, what in blazes is that? What kind of, it's a kind of a machine, and they put it on the deck, and it was wired up by steam from the steam boiler, which they had pulled out, and it would run, and you put the line on there, and it would go, <coughs> it would pull the sail out. Okay, so a couple of guys could do that at each mast. Oh, go ahead and put some more masts on there. They had five masted ships. So they just got bigger and bigger. So you had to coordinate. And so that's where the real golden age of sea shanties started. You had to have a halyard shanty to get that rhythm going. You had a, a capstan shanty. Walking around the capstan could take hours and hours. You're hauling up an anchor now. you got a ship that's how many thousand, couple, several thousand tons. The anchor is several thousand pounds. So it has to be hauled up with a machine. You've got water coming in and la lodging in the lower region of the ship. You're going to pump it out. You use these hand pumps. Okay, they didn't have automatic pumps for a long time, so different tasks had different kind of cadences on them. Well, one of my favorites, though, is more of a story in Shanty. It has a story in it that's sort of cohesive. When I was a young man a sailing, I went to stay in the country it was my intent. But drinking strong liquor like other damn fools, I soon was transported back to Liverpool. I mean, row, 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 row the boys, row, row to Liverpool, Julie's has got us in tow. Early one morning I sailed with the rest on a three scuttle yard bound out for the west. We anchored one day in the harbor of Cork, from there to set sail for the port of New York. And it's row, 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 row boys, row, them Liverpool duties have got us in tow. After 42 days, we were hungry and sore. The winds were a Guinness, the seas they did roar. But off Battery Point, we did anchor at last. With our jib boom ho too, and the canvas all fast and it's row, 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 roll is roll, and Liverpool Judies have got us in tow. Them boarding house masters was off in a trice, <coughs> offering all kinds of things that was nice. One that old crimp took a liking to me. He said, You're a fool, Jack, to follow the sea, and it's row, 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 roll is row, them Liverpool Judies has got us in tow. He says, there's a job that's just waiting for you with rations of liquor and nothing to do. <coughs> he said, what do you say, Jack? Will you jump or two? I said, you old rascal, I'm bad. darned if I do. <laughs> row, 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 bullies, row, and Liverpool Judies has got us in tow. With the best of intentions, they seldom goes far. After 32 days at the door of a bar, I tossed off me liquor, and what do you think? That rotten old pirate put drugs in me drink and it's <laughs> row. Row, 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 is row, and Liverpool Julie's have got us in tow. The next thing I knew, I awoke in the morn on the free spicel yard about South Brown Cape Horn. With a seat, oh, sorry, bird. Old suit of oars, well, what did I have in my trunk? I mean, what did I have? Well, suit of oars, skins, and three pairs of socks, a great aching head, and a dose of duck pops, and a row, 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 all these row, them Liverpool Judies have got us in tow. So, all of you bullies who follow the sea, keep an eye on your drink for the liquor's free. Pay no attention to runner nor poor, keep your hat on your head and your boots on the shore. And it's Row, 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 is row, and Liverpool Judy's has got us in tow, and it's row, 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 is row, and Liverpool Judy's has got us in tow. Oh, oh, come on, <laughs> so it blows, it, it, it's, it's kind of amazing to consider this, but more than 20 years ago, <laughs> I started training as a volunteer crew member on the Calmer Nickel, a uh, beautiful tall ship docked in uh, at Wilmington, Delaware. And, uh, well, we were on at the same time. So, yes. So we um, And so uh, I never quite got the hang of all the, I mean, what was it, nine miles of, uh, oh, of rope, that, yeah. nine miles of, of lines and <laughs> rigging and so many <coughs> so many different lines, and I never quite got the hang of it. I, I started to get it, but uh, 
then, then I, uh, my life changed significantly. I had a child. Gosh, <laughs> 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 when, 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 when I told them I was, I was pregnant, they were like, well, you can't find what's up on the radio anymore. I'm like, well, what's the point? <laughs> my favorite thing was climbing on the radio. But anyway, uh, like I said, I never quite got the hang of all the lines, but I, I got there a little bit. And uh, however, the, uh, there were a couple times that Boston had to remind me what line you were And sometimes she did it in a very cute way. She would say to me, Hall on the ball and the bonny, bonny ball and the hall on the ball and the ball and hall on the ball and kitty is the darling. Hall on the ball and the ball and hall on the ball and kitty is the Liverpool. Hall on the ball and the ball and hall on the ball and she thinks I am a damn fool. Hall on the ball and the ball and hall. All on the ball and the ball and all on the ball and the old man is a growling. All on the ball and the ball and all. Below, 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 while the landlubbers lie down below. 